Well, we're kind of we're together. Time. Okay, go ahead. Tell us about that first walk and what was going through your head while you were on first base and ready to start. They pitched me the wrong pitches. I no one to lay off usually, and it was exciting. I knew being a leadoff batter that I had to lead the team and getting on base is kind of my job, so it was rewarding. And what were you thinking when you stole second and then you saw it almost enough? Did you think you could take an early lead and then really just keep going like yesterday? Yeah, Kirsten has a great bat. I have some speed, so we knew we could get the job done. Just what does it mean for you guys to take home a state championship like this? Just describe your feelings right now. It's indescribable. Kirsten's an amazing pitcher. We have people in the field to back her up, so we knew as a team we could come through and do it for us. Talk about the sixth inning you guys showed. So it's determination. I mean, they get the bases loaded, no outs, but you guys, you know, found a way to get the team defense out of that. We have been in so many situations where it came down to the wire. We knew not to give up to the last pitch. We took every pitch by every out by every batter one at a time and just to get the job done. Just talk about this, you know, this week and just kind of all the emotions of this crazy section you guys finally get here. Just how would you, what have you, what have you guys learned about this week and about yourselves and maybe everything you've gone through the emotions? The thing I think that we learned the most is we come as a team, we leave as a team, we work every day at practice for a team, we come in every inning, every out of inning as a team. Staying as a team and being confident in each and every one of the players is what we do best. Well, I'm sure you thought about this moment many times, but does it feel as good as you've grown? When the beginning of the season started, none of us really talked about making the state championship. In our head, we all made a goal, but we never talked about it. We take every game at a time, and we have to beat every regional game by a time. Each one we take the last sets. This is the end goal and we made it. So it's undescribable. It just shows how much, you know, a clean game can, can help a team win. I mean they're they're committing all the errors out there. They you know they get the bases loaded. You guys get out of it without allowing a run. It just shows that's kind of what counts a uh, you know clean game, no errors for you guys. You gotta be tough, take every play, every ball like a easy play, like you've done it before. Like you have confidence in every fielding, every throw, everything like that. You just gotta have confidence in yourself. What does it mean to continue this point at softball tradition? I know you haven't been here in five years, but, you know, I mean, did you grow up knowing that those teams won state or, you know? Like... I did come to 2006-5 state games, and I never, I, like, dreamt that I would so wish to be here, but I never thought that, like, we really won. So it's really, really cool that we made it here. What was it like getting to make the last out? I wanted to run before I caught the ball. I had to catch the ball, then put the ball down, but it was cool. I got the two, two catches in the last inning, so it was sweet. What what was I mean? What was your attitude coming into the game today? Because you were such a terror on the bases, and and you know you have had such a great year running the bases. But coming into this game in particular, did you did you say to yourself, if I get on, you know I'm going to do everything I can to to be a terror on the bases? Did you have that attitude? Yeah, I definitely did. I knew that if I got on, I would be stealing, even if Mr. Tio sometimes says no. But yeah, I steal. That's what I do best. And I knew if I could get on, I could make some things happen. Has it set in yet that you're state champions? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so excited. What's it um, What's it going to be like, do you think, when you get up to Poinette in an hour and a half or so, the, the reception? I mean, what do you imagine that being like? We get to ride fire trucks. That's <laughs> super cool. We get to ride fire trucks on our way home, and then I'm sure we'll have a lot of people, so I'm really excited. Can you talk about what, if you if, if you paid attention to or if you were aware of, when you guys got out of that bases loaded jam in the, in the top of the sixth, and the crowd was as loud as it had been all afternoon. Did you guys feel that and, and how close you were to a state championship after dodging that bullet? Yeah, I think that we all knew that if we could get out of that, that we kind of unstoppable with that. <laughs> as a senior, to stamp the program now with the third state championship, you, you said earlier just a minute ago that this has been a dream, but what does it mean for you you seniors to stamp the program with, with um, another championship? Being a leader, being a senior, I think that people won't forget what players and who got us here, so I think it's really rewarding. What's And then lastly, what's the one thing you think you're going to remember most from this weekend, this state title? <laughs> That's whoever question it <laughs> I don't know, all the people coming here as a team, and we got, we took everything as a team, all the strikeouts we took as a team, every play by each player, we all finished with the team. I think the, the team bond was really the big thing that we came in this tournament with. Awesome. Hey, congratulations. Thank you.